Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So we you we went into a little bit of like you've got a lot of surface temperature data for what they've basked in in the wild. Based upon everything that you've experienced, what would you recommend as a surface temperature for a basking spot in captivity? So this is this is a really hard thing to answer because on doing it, we realized that um I'll get it up. share my screen oh here we go that's some females sitting after dusk on the road on the sides of the road basking and that's for the bellies that's for the belly heat so it's it does happen and that's a nice good image of what what they're doing there but so this is the substrate temperature and most of the time here we're seeing a lot of the temperatures around between the 30 and 40, then we've got quite a few temperatures above. And then the hottest one, um, this was 65 degrees on a big male in springtime on the middle of the road. We don't know what he was doing on the middle of the road. We just came across him. We suspect he was not actually thermoregulating. Um, he was actually displaying to another male. That's what we think is going on there. Um, but the problem even though we got a lot of substrate surface, it's all different surfaces. It's wood, um, it's sand, bitumen, if we got them on a bit of bitumen road, um, or some of them we got off the tops of bushes or fence posts as well. So the problem with so many varied substrates is that they all have different thermal masses. So for example we got to an area um there was an area that we'd go it was a ridge um that we used to go and find when i say a ridge it's in the desert so it's just a little hill and they had these big um kind of marble rocks sitting there and every dragon that we took off them um the temperatures were still around 20 degrees even though it was in the afternoon because they just had so much thermal mass, but the dragons that were sitting on them were 10, 15 degrees higher. And I don't, I'm not convinced that this is the best way to determine the temperature of a basking site. If you, because I could say, yeah, it's best to be at 42, but it depends whether it's slate or it depends whether it's a piece of wood. Um, so um, there are different ways to measure it. Um, what we can get from it, though, when pairing it with the bearded dragon temperatures, where we actually took the temperature off the back of the bearded dragon, is that these bearded dragons can uh, are a lot better at absorbing radiant heat than the um, surface around them. They do it a lot more rapidly. Um, and, you know, providing around on a ro rock, if you've got peak temperatures around 42 degrees, that bearded dragon could definitely get to its preferred optimal body temperature. I would more likely say to an owner, is to measure when your bearded dragon is basking and measure with a laser thermometer the surface of the bearded dragon's back and get it so it is definitely getting up to about 38 or 40 degrees um we found that their off so their preferred optimal body temperature their core body temperature is 36.3 that's what our study found and that's what Badham's study found, which was over 50 years ago. It found the exact same temperature. And the reason why we want to have higher temperatures, and this is all reptiles, if you have an animal that has a preferred optimal body temperature, you need to have a basking source that will provide heat warmer than that because it's got to go through the animal. The animal, it's... You know, it has to be gaining heat faster than it's losing it out the other bits out of its belly and stuff like that. 
And this is a principle that that I see in clinical practice where people go, oh, but they only like to be 29, 30 degrees. And it's like, yeah, but when you have an animal that's this big and you only have, it wants its whole body to be 29 or 30 degrees and you provide it 30 degrees, it's never going to get to 30 degrees inside its body. So that's why it's important, even though the preferred optimal body temperature is 36.3, you need to have the, the basking amount of basking energy and basking temperatures for their skin to get several degrees higher so their core body temperature can get to that preferred optimal body temperature. So. The clip you've just watched is just a snippet of a larger podcast episode where we had Bidivet on the podcast. If you want to find the full podcast episode, you can find that up here. Or if you want to carry on looking through the Bidivet Explained series, you can find the rest of it down here.